四。好似二年第廿九條題目啦，又係睇返同一幅圖嘅。J 呢就係個質層 ，K 呢就係木質導管。今次就真係問你 K 啦。佢哋問返你啦，下面呢邊一款嘅物質呢係能夠離開塊葉嘅？咦，咁但係點樣離開塊葉呢？就係、是。通過氣孔離開塊葉嘅，仲要源自於邊度啊？源自於木質導管嘅。嗱咁即係話啦，個起點喺邊度啊？起點就係木質導管啦，跟住去到氣孔啦，然後就離開塊葉啦。嗱，有咗呢個概念先，咁啊一二三咁樣去嘅。咁跟住咯，咁啊睇一睇題目啦。實質考緊我啲咩咧？第一就係考緊木質導管嘅功能啦。木質導管就係運送翻水同埋礦物質。咁呢個咧喺我哋書學翻嚟嘅，然後啦，究竟有啲咩物質係能夠透過氣孔去離開咧？咁自不然啦，應該咧係一啲氣體嚟嘅，係一個 gas state 嘅東西嚟嘅。咁所以嚟到呢度你就會發現啦，成條題目其實係考緊我哋有關於蒸騰作用嘅概念啦。咁有啲嘢咧可以 say goodbye 噶啦。氧氣同埋二氧化碳可以四 goodbye， 咁啊因為啦，根本就唔喺木質導管運送緊，咁得翻水同埋礦物質嘅啫。咁邊一個係能夠以氣態嘅方式去運行咧？就係、是、水咯，因為佢係水蒸氣啊嘛。咁所以啦，連礦物質咧都錯埋啦。咁下面啊不厭其煩啦，都提一提啦。蒸騰作用係乜嘢？蒸騰作用咧，就係、是、一棵植物以水蒸氣嘅形式去流失水分。喺邊度流失啦？喺個植物嘅表面啊，就透過蒸發咧去發生嘅。四，佢就喺氣孔啦、角質層啦，四，同埋皮孔咧去發生嘅。而同個木質導管都有啲關係嘅，就係、是、咧本身喺葉肉細胞嘅表面嘅水分就會蒸發啦，去到個氣室。而當喺個氣室入面嘅水蒸氣嘅濃度啦，係高過大氣當中嘅水蒸氣嘅濃度嘅話咧。咁嗰啲水蒸氣咧就會擴散啦，就通過氣孔咧就去到嗰個大氣嘅當中啦。而透過蒸騰作用，亦都會產生蒸騰牽引力，就繼續咧喺個木質導管嗰度抽水上嚟啦。Question twenty nine is about the leaf again. So you can see that J is the cuticle and K is the xylem vessel. And in this question, is asking cell K. And then the whole question is that which of the following substance will move out of the leaf through the stomata from cell K? So you can see the order will be that the certain substance they come from the xylem vessel and then they will pass through the stomata and then move out of the leaf. So for the whole question, the first idea is that the function of the xylem vessel. Xylem vessel, what are they transporting? They are transporting water and minerals. For we can eliminate B and D because it should be from cell K, ma. So that's why the substance it should be either water or minerals. And then ah, for the substance they can pass through the stomata. Therefore, it should be in a gas state. At this point, you will know that water and minerals, which which one can exist in gas state, which is the water, because we have the water vapor, and then that's why I say goodbye to minerals. So the whole question is checking us the concept of transpiration. Transpiration is the loss of water in the form of water vapor. From the surface of the plant due to evaporation, and it takes places through the stomata, cuticle, and the lenticel of the plants. And for the whole story is that water on the surface of the mesophyll cells evaporate into the air spaces. As the water vapor concentration in the air space become higher than that in the atmosphere outside the leaf, water vapor will diffuse through the stomata into the atmosphere. And it will generate the transpiration pool in the xylem vessel to draw the water upwards. So you can see how straightforward is this question.